Welcome back to Adobe Live. My name is Melody and I'm here with Jermaine and we are on day two of UI UX design. Hello to everyone in the chat. Thank you for joining us. Um, let's quickly take a look at the schedule this week so we can see all the other designers that are going to be here. Um, so at 9 a.m. we had Cat Lowe hosted by me and then at 11 we had Ayana Campbell-Smith hosted by Zach Nielsen and then at 1 we have Jermaine hosted by me. So yeah, definitely stay tuned for tomorrow also. Um, so we also have an XD daily challenge today. Um, if you want to participate in that, you can submit it during our stream and we can review that at the end and give you feedback. And also tomorrow we're doing portfolio reviews. So definitely come back tomorrow and submit your portfolios and Jermaine and I will review them and give you feedback towards the end. And today's um, daily challenge is to design and prototype uh, a notification screen on a mobile app using XD. And you can find all the information on behance.net slash live in the challenge tab. And yeah, and we also have a daily chat and win. So in about 30 minutes, you can have a chance to win a Moo hardcover notebook. And it has flat lay technology, so yes. it's really easy. This is the future of yeah, notebooks. The future <laughs> of notebooks right here. <laughs> yeah, so all you have to do is just be active in the chat, say hi, ask us any questions you have, um, and you'll be entered to win. So yeah, let's turn over to Jermaine. Maybe you can give us a recap yeah. of yesterday. Um, so if you're just tuning in today, um, my name is Jermaine. Um, I'm a graphic and UI designer um, located in Philly. I work for an email marketing company called Aweber. Um, if you tuned in yesterday, we walked through um, an idea that I have for a fictional app that is a scavenger hunt, scavenger hunt app. Um, so yesterday, I walked through the user flow, um, basically um, the happy path or map mm -hmm. of the screens that I was mocking up yesterday in XD. Um, it just having this planned out helps me become more organized and figure out what screens I need to mock up. Um, so yeah, I've organized this user flow into different categories. So all the big blue rectangles that you'll see are the screens that um, I'll be mocking up, um, which you'll see in my XD file. Um, so yeah, yesterday we walked through the goal and the mission. So the mission of this app is sort of just like a fun game for both creators and players to um, create a scavenger hunt and then also the ability to upload all of their photographic evidence um, in order to score points for the game. Um, and then my audience is pretty much all ages. Um, it's a social game um, that you can do with your friends. You can do it um, basically in any city. So walk through the user flow. And then yesterday I also showed the sketches that I had drawn up. I actually used Photoshop Sketch on my iPad for this. Um, so I could easily just upload it to my computer. And then just to give me an idea of um, how to start out with my wireframes. Uh, this is what I was using to start drawing out the wireframes, which you can see. Um, quickly, so Cameron's asking if you made the user flow in XD, and I think you mentioned another. Yeah, so Cameron, I actually made the user flow in um, an app called Overflow. Um, it's just overflow.io, and um, it basically allows you to quickly draw boxes and then built into the app is the ability to sort of connect all the boxes mm. without having yes. to manually do it yourself. Cool. Yeah. So the wireframes that we did yesterday in XD are all right here. You'll see that right now they're all pretty simple. Just a bunch of gray boxes, white squares. Yeah. Um, so I also asked you guys yesterday for help on naming the app because I didn't have oh, yeah. any idea. <laughs> yeah, that was really fun. Yeah, so that was super fun. We did a poll and the yeah. name Raccoon actually mm -hmm. won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so last night I sort of uh, got together all of my assets, drew out a logo, um, finalized some of the iconography, and then also chose the colors that I'll be using for the high fidelity nice. comps today, or high fidelity mockups mm -hmm. today. Um, yeah, so this is the logo that I ended up with. It looks so cute. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I'm it's so like excited. It's perfect. Um, so I actually drew this up. I can show you my process for the how I made the logo. Um, I used... Oh, cool. Yeah, I love drawing <laughs> on my iPad, so I actually just used 
the app um, Adobe Draw. Mm -hmm. So basically just sketched out some ideas on my iPad and then um, pushed it up to Illustrator on my laptop. And then I sort of just started drawing over the sketches, um, played around with some different colorations. Nice. And then I ended up with these That's two final so designs, cute. basically. <laughs> yeah, these two, like the inverse yeah. of each other. Mm -hmm. And then also um, I picked out a few different colors that I'm going to be using nice. for the UI today. That's yeah. awesome. Um, Albert's asking if Overflow is for iOS users alone or if Windows or other. Uh, actually, it's um, a computer app. Okay. So I just downloaded it um, to my computer. I think you can either download it to com your computer or use the website itself. OK. Yeah. So it's just overflow.io if you're looking for the, the name of the website. Yeah. So I think I'm just going to move now right into just starting the high fidelity mock up. Mm -hmm. So, what I'm going to be doing is just basically taking these black and white wireframes mm -hmm. and then making them nicer by adding <laughs> color and drop nice. shadows, rounding some corners. So, this yeah. is pretty much where the fun starts. Yeah, I'm yeah. excited. This is my favorite part, I think, of designing, is getting into yeah, this part. Getting yeah. into all different colors. Yeah. So, originally, I just had a placeholder here for the logo. But now that I have the logo, I'm just going to drop it in. So these logos I made actually in Illustrator. Um, so I'm going to open up my libraries. I saved it to. Oh, nice. Yeah. I have, just easily drop them in. Yeah, the logo here. Except it's huge. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to make this. I also added all of these colors into mm -hmm. my assets panel here, so oh, I can just easily. Nice grab them. Yeah. yeah, and I'm going to turn on my grid. I love this logo. <laughs> I know. I got the, I think I used some of the ideas that the mm -hmm. chat threw in yesterday. Yeah. The, the magnifying glass, mm -hmm. the location, location icon. Yeah. yeah. And it was awesome to get everyone's help from the chat. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without you guys. <laughs> I'm going to lock this background. Cool. I think I want to make everything curved. Turn off the borders mm -hmm. that the default shapes had come with and just. I like using that like I, little shortcut yeah, to, to round I the love edges. That. Yeah, I really only use it if I don't know what border radius I want to mm -hmm. do. But yeah. otherwise, if I'm doing a circle or just uh -huh. like a, a full, like uh, I don't even know what shape this is. What is a shape called? A rounded rectangle. A rounded rectangle, <laughs> yeah. I guess, yeah. Um, I'll just pull down the corners. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So Sajid is asking what the name of this logo is, and it's for your scavenger hunt app. Yeah, so this is the logo for the scavenger hunt app that yesterday we decided in the chats that it was going to be called raccoon. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I think I just, I don't know, do you think we should spell it differently or take out some vowels, or do you think we should just? I don't know. I like the, the actual full spelling. Name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> raccoon with no vowels. I don't know how yeah. that would look. Yeah, that was actually, the, the two other app names we were playing mm -hmm. with were I Spy and mm -hmm. Hunter, Hunter yeah. but this one won by like one point. <laughs> yeah, I know. It was a close pull. Yeah. So I'm actually going to be adding um, photographs in here that I pulled. Nice. Um, I'm going to be taking them into Photoshop later and then editing them to sort of fit better into the app. Awesome. Yeah. Take the borders off. I think it's because they're grouped. Oh, no. I think I added borders to the oh. whole thing. <laughs> oh, but no. I think you need to, I need to ungroup them before. Oh, I see. Yeah. What I might do is just delete this mm -hmm. and then repeat grid. <laughs> um, Jasmine is asking about the fonts in your library. So maybe do you want to quickly just yeah. name the fonts that you're using? Yeah. So um, the fonts here in my assets panel are all the different sizes. It's all the same font. It's called um, Open Sans. Um, which I already had installed on my computer. I believe I downloaded this font. 
I can I don't Adobe fonts. Have Either that? Adobe fonts or Google, Google fonts. Okay. I know it's a it's a free font, like a free online font. Um, and then I sort of went through and decided, like, based on hierarchy mm -hmm. and the UI, um, figured out what needed to be smaller, what needed to be larger. Um, and then I just went ahead and added them to my character styles mm -hmm. and my assets panel so that I didn't have to keep going back and yeah. forth um, to like figure out what size. Thing, yeah. yeah, so it's just sort of like helps me work quicker. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, and Albert is asking a question that's relevant is in what ways are the library can be helpful to you? Yeah. And so, yeah, I really like you can just have all your settings saved, mm -hmm. like the colors, the fonts, character styles, and all your symbols all yeah. in one place. So mm -hmm. you can just quickly refer back to it and change things. And yeah, yeah, I really like it for when, say that I have all of my screens colorized and mm -hmm. done already, if I wanted to tweak a color. You can see it here. So this shape back here, I had mm -hmm. selected it to be this sort of indigo color. Mm -hmm. But say later I wanted to change it, you can actually just edit it right in the assets panel yeah. to be whatever color. And then once you save it, well, oh, oh. maybe I didn't, but you can yeah. see that these other <laughs> ones changed. changed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let me see So this works to make sure that oh, it's this yeah. blue for sure. If yeah. I go in and edit it, to be pink, oh, yeah. you'll see that it all basically 30. changes it all across the board. Yeah. yeah. So it's just um, good to make sure that if you're working on a lot of screens with the same colors, mm -hmm. um, try to remember to use it right in your assets panel yeah. so that you don't have to go manually changing every single color, mm -hmm. which I've definitely had to do before. Oh, no. <laughs> and it's not fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so Carlos is wondering if you created any of the stickers on your laptop. <laughs> no, I wish I did. Um, but actually, so awesome one ones. of my coworkers, Chris, he made this uh, sticker. It's, it says Curate. Oh. It's one of the apps that Aweber currently has. That's awesome. Yeah, there's it looks some really, nice. really fun ones. <laughs> I did not make any, but I would love to. Yeah. yeah. A lot of these, this is our um, mascot for Aweber, the company oh. that I work at. Yeah. That's so cool. And the Creative Morning sticker. <laughs> All right, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to round some corners. See, for here, I'm going to go to the panel here mm -hmm. and then change the radius randomly. I think 10 is a good. Mm -hmm. and then here. I always have to remember which is which. I know. I never remember, so I always just do each one, and then oh, I and just see it. what corner yeah. changes. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if it's like clockwise. So I think it goes clockwise. Okay. So this is le uh, top, top left, left, top okay. right. So the the ones on the right. Oh mm -hmm. wait, if you hover over it, it's just. It's, oh really? What? <laughs> yeah, I but didn't know that. <laughs> I always just did top left, top right, and then these two are the nice. bottom. Nice. That's so awesome. Yeah, that's, that's good to yeah. know. I didn't I didn't realize that. I know that's funny. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so these these three here, or these. I guess there's a few of them. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to change them all. These, so these are actually all black, okay. but then these ones are 50%. Mm -hmm. So instead of selecting each one individually, I'm just going to go in and... Yay. And then yeah. it saves the opacity yeah, setting it also. Yeah, it saves the settings nice. I had for these ones. It's so helpful. Yeah. <laughs> I think these ones, too, will work similarly. Mm -hmm. Since they're all stroked icons, mm -hmm. they should work if I... Maybe not. Oh, yeah. So that's the thing yeah. with this. Like you have to. I think it only works for like fill. for fill. Mm -hmm. But if you want to change the color of your stroke, you have to go into here. Oh, okay. So what I started to do is basically just eye drop it and then save it to this panel oh, for yeah. use later. Yeah, I always save. Yeah. Those the colors there too for like quick access mm -hmm. to it. Yeah. But um, yeah. So for this one, if it only has the option for mm -hmm. the stroke color, I think you can use, yeah, you can use the panel for mm -hmm. it. But if it's got both stroke and fill, yeah. it'll only apply to the fill. Mm -hmm. Take that off and then add a shadow to it. So I was already messing Ooh. with this earlier, so that's why it went what in. What settings did you use for your Yeah, drop so shadow? I, for this, I normally just pick, rather than doing um, a black drop shadow, mm -hmm. I'll pick the color of the UI. Nice. Um, and then I'll bump it down to like 15 or 20 percent, mm -hmm. I'll do 20 percent. And then I like real uh, glowy shadows. <laughs> so I have the Y set to eight, 
and mm -hmm. then the blur is set to 16. Nice. I work off of um, like 4, 6, 18, oh, okay. 32. Yeah. I don't oh. know if it really makes a difference, but I since I my think grid that is looks really good. Yeah. Since yeah. my grid is an eight pixel grid, I figured why not work off yeah. of eight. Yeah. And then these are all the same also. So what's nice about this is I can just go in and click all the text mm -hmm. and change them to the same color. I'm wondering, do you know if you can save setting, like the drop shadow settings? Is that an option? I'm not sure. What I do is um, I save like the color oh. of the like opacity, like the color that you have mm -hmm. in the shadow. I'll save that under Okay, there, so that's what I did. That's what I've been doing. And then doing. just memorize <laughs> the Y and yeah. the blur. Okay. But I don't know if there is so a way. I've, I've just been doing that too. Mm -hmm. I wasn't sure if I was yeah. making it harder Not that myself. I know of. Yeah. Does anyone so else change. know if that you can save the blur or sh drop shadow settings? Yeah. I don't know if you can. Because I think in Illustrator you can. Mm -hmm. You can oh, save okay. object styles, um, sort nice. of like character and paragraph mm -hmm. styles. You can do it for objects, but I don't think I've seen it yet um, yeah. here. Yeah, so I'm going to turn off the border, bump up the border radius. Oh, you know, I think it actually saves your most recent. This is. It saved my most recent color okay. that I chose. Well, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that works. Mm -hmm. It's looking very blue right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm going to add some color by... Let's make these... Let's do this. Just to add a little bit of color. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. And then down here, background blur. I didn't mean to put that on. Oh. Negative 18, let's do 16. Oh, see, I'm going over here oh, to change the yeah. color, but I should really be going yeah. over here. <laughs> Yeah, this one's very light. I can't yeah. really see it. Mm. I might just bump that up then. Just subtle. Yeah. yeah. Now, so for this, I'm trying to decide how should I make it look when it's active versus mm. non-active. So what is the left icon so that's like represent? Settings, settings or like okay. like where you want to log out or anything okay. like that. Yeah. So for right now we're on the home page. The home page should be. I'm wondering if this is just fifty percent mm. for now. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Oh. Cool. So this, I can now. Group and repeat. Yay. Well, why is that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we don't want to do that yet. Okay. So I'm actually going to need a few of these when mm -hmm. we start prototyping tomorrow. So I'm just um, going to space some of my screens out. Because I think I want three of these. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Three in there. And we'll adjust the spacing based off of the grid, so. Cool. Okay, so now I'm gonna move over into Photoshop actually mm -hmm. to start editing some photos to put in the scavenger hunt cards. Nice. Um, I'm gonna make up some title names. I'm actually looking off to the side here. I wrote down oh, some uh, You already have some ideas. Some examples. <laughs> cool. We'll do a birthday bar crawl. Have you ever done like a bar crawl? For yes, anything? but not a scavenger hunt. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't. <laughs> I lost. I'm gonna ungroup yeah. this and redo mm -hmm. it. 
I forgot to group in. There is an icon back here. Oh no. <laughs> hmm. Okay, wait. Do you see it? It's back here. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna go to my layers yeah. panel and it's gonna be extremely messy. <laughs> it's okay, that's what my layers panel looks like too. This is a terrible workflow, do not use this as an example. <laughs> that's okay. I can relate to it, so. We're gonna just bring yeah. this back and then cut this and then bring it back to front. There we go. Ooh. Nice. And then we're gonna repeat grid again. Group that. There we go. Turn the grid back on. Also the shortcut for turning your grid on is, um, if you're on a MacBook, command, comma? No, command <laughs> apostrophe. Yeah. So that's a quick shortcut that I like it's to good use. Good to know. Yeah. I need to memorize all the shortcuts. I think we were talking about that <laughs> <Yeah>. yesterday. <laughs> um, let's do found in Philly. Philly represent. Yay. And then we'll do doggy dash. Aww. So basically like <laughs> a dog hunt around the city. That's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> That's cute. Let's do what town should we do? Let's do San Jose. You're from San Jose. Oh right? yeah. Yay. San Jose represent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So let's say one of 10 tasks, 24 hours left. Yeah, okay. I was just going to ask if that was the time remaining or like the yes. time since it has started. Um, I want to say remaining. remaining? Okay. Yeah. Cool. So Jasmine is asking how you did the repeat action. Uh, oh, if yeah. you're talking about repeat grid, you can quickly. Yes. Show so that. that's a super fun, but also very useful feature. So um, I can do it he down here actually. So I'm gonna delete these. So if I wanted to have a bunch more of these cards down here, rather than copy and pasting mm -hmm. or duplicating this one piece. I'm just gonna highlight the whole card. And up here in the corner, it says repeat grid. And then you have the ability to basically repeat it vertically. And also if you wanted horizontally, mm -hmm. um, just by dragging the handles here. And then if you wanna change the distance between them, mm -hmm. you basically just hover the space between the um, components and then adjust it based on however far you want them to be. Nice. Um, and then if you wanna go and edit them, you can either um, use the shortcut command shift G to ungroup it or just hit ungroup grid. Um, and then it allows you to go in and edit and each, them, yeah. each, of, each one of them individually again. And you can also do that with pictures or icons or anything you can yeah. repeat grid yeah. that as well. And then Albert was asking about the shortcut one more time. The I shortcut for the grid. For I the think grid? show grid. Let us know, Albert, what shortcut yeah. you are referring to and we will let you know. <laughs> and also, hi, Jesse is watching live from Kenya. Hey, thank you for joining in. Um, yeah, so let us know what um, shortcut, Albert, and I'll let you know. Yeah. Um, right now, I'm gonna jump into Photoshop. Down here, so I actually Ooh. started <laughs> pulling a bunch of images already. Um, I'm actually gonna open a few more, so I'm actually gonna jump back. So I'm gonna need a San Francisco one, um, one about Philly, and then a dog, so. I'm just gonna pull up some images that I think would work mm -hmm. as a cover photo for some of the hunts. Yeah, and I have all these saved. So these photos I found um, for free online. You can grab oh photos God. either from <laughs> Adobe Stock or um, oh. <laughs> I use Unsplash for some of these. Oh yeah, I use Unsplash yeah, a lot too. I love it's Unsplash. a great resource. And the so, pictures are like really high quality too. They are, yeah. but they're not super like uh, stock. Oh, no, they're not yeah. like cheesy or anything, they're uh -huh. pretty natural. Yeah. So I'm gonna open this one. Oh, Alex is joining us from Ukraine. Hello. Hi, Hello, Alex. Jasmine from Guatemala. That's awesome. Oh, and Joseph's from Tunisia. That's so cool. Hello, everyone. 
all these cute yeah, dogs. Two, what did you just want? I like that one a lot. <laughs> yeah. It stands out to oh, me. Oh, um, Albert says for the grid to hide okay. a show. So it's going to be command on MacBook, command apostrophe. So it's the one right next to the enter button. Um, yeah, I guess for if you're using PC, it would be control. control. Yeah, control, control apostrophe. apostrophe. Yeah. Oh, and Thomas is also from Germany. Yay! Hello. I actually think I'm going to do the other bridge that I have here. That's a cool picture. <laughs> yeah, this is also from Unsplash. Nice. Um, so now that I have my colors here, I'm going to be actually editing the photos to be duotone. Ooh. Um, yeah, so sort of like Spotify style, mm -hmm. if you're familiar. Um, I thought they were really cool, and I think applying a filter to photos across the UI is really going to help mm -hmm. to, I don't know, give it a stronger sense of branding. Nice. Um, because you never know like how photos are going to be edited when they're mm -hmm. uploaded to the app. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so for this, I'm just going to go ahead and copy the file layer. So I'm not working off of the original mm. photo. Um, and then I'm going to do, to do the gradient um, filter, sorry, the mm. duotone filter, the easiest way that I found is to basically add um, an adjustment layer, use the gradient okay. map, and it Ooh. automatically turns it black and white for mm -hmm. you. And then up here in the properties panel, um, if you double or if you just click it, it mm -hmm. pulls up the color. So you can see like all the shadows are black mm -hmm. and the highlights are white. So I'm just going to go in and edit those. And I'm going to use the um, brand colors that I've oh, already nice. pulled out. So we just need to double click and then we can add the hex codes. So Wynn is joining us from Indonesia. Hello, Hello. Wynn. And then Beck is watching from New Zealand. That's so awesome. I've always wanted to go to Indonesia and yeah. New Zealand and all the other countries. I just want to go traveling. I'm trying to see oh, what color and I want to do. Oh, is from Brazil. Hello. Hi. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, so then basically... That's so cool. Yeah, you can pretty much change it to any color. They have presets up here. Mm -hmm. So yeah. That's awesome. I never knew how yeah. to do that. <laughs> um, and then you can just adjust this center oh, nice. part here. Mm -hmm. Oops. Base to um, increase the contrast. Mm -hmm. I still want some details showing, so I think I'm just going to leave it. Oh, that's too much <laughs> in the center. I'm just going to leave it like this. Claire is joining us from the UK. Ooh, Hi. That's awesome. Hi, Hello. Claire. Oh, and um, Andy's from El Salvador. Oh, wow. Awesome. We got the whole world. I know, everyone. And <laughs> Serbia. Sandra's from Serbia. That's awesome. And cool. then in order for me to bring this into XD, I'm just mm -hmm. going to select the, um, the two layers here mm -hmm. that are actually giving me the filter. Mm -hmm. So the photo itself and then the adjustment later, I'm just going to literally just drag it right into oh, my cool. libraries panel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there you go. It's saved nice. in here. So I'm just going to rename this to be cover bridge. Yeah, so I'm going to do that filter to the rest of my photos here. Mm -hmm. So the same process, basically copying the first layer so that I'm not working off of the original. Mm -hmm. Adding a gradient map adjustment layer, and then messing with the colors. And then to keep it consistent, I'm going to keep the same sort of dark blue mm -hmm. in all of the filter colors, and then just change the highlight. Is there a way to save the like dark blue and light blue thing that you created so you can like reuse that on each on picture? Each of them? Or like I, maybe, there probably I don't know is. if there is, but um, if you know yeah. how to do that, let me know. Yeah, let us know. <laughs> I feel like that would be easier. Yeah, to sort of create a set filter. Yeah. You know, I think there is. Um, I'm going to dig in to see. Yeah. And Caesar is watching from France, play. and Vanessa's from the Netherlands, and Jonathan's from Texas. Woo! -hoo. Yay, welcome everyone. Oh, and Josh's from New York City. That's awesome. That's where Kat's from. Oh. oh, is it time? Oh, is it time for chat and win? It's time for chat and win. Oh my god, win. okay. <laughs> that was really fast. Yay, so um, everyone, you have a chance to win this Moo notebook um, just by being active in the chat. So we'll be right back. Yay! Welcome.
welcome back. Good luck to everyone. Yes. Yay. Move. I see <laughs> some more cities, Austin, Oregon, woo, Pacific Northwest. <laughs> I used to live in Seattle, so kind of close to Oregon. Nice. Chat and win. Yay. Messages. <laughs> Ukraine. Awesome. I love how like global yeah. this is. Like everyone all around the Morocco. world. Morocco. Oh, Morocco. That's so cool. <laughs> I'm curious if they yeah. have these in other colors. I know. I think they do have other colors. Mm -hmm. I don't know what other colors that come in, but if you win, you can choose the color that you would like. If oh. you don't want this blue one, Ooh, Idaho, Chicago. Nice. Yay. And all my notebooks are normally like the dot grid. Me too. I like the, the dot ones. <laughs> like, I like the sketch, mm -hmm. and I feel like the lines are limited yeah. sometimes. Yeah. Yay. Okay. This yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So we're doing old school uh, <laughs> this time. So Jasmine Miranda, Yay, congratulations. Jasmine. Yay. You're going to win a moon notebook, and you can choose the color that you would like. So congratulations to Jasmine Miranda. Thank you to everyone in the chat for being active. Yes. Yay. I saw Philly awesome. Proud in there. Oh, yay. Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> um, Claire, it is not dotted. Yeah. It's actually, it's got lines in it. Yeah. I yeah. wonder if, I'm sure they have other They might options. sell yeah. uh, dotted versions. Yeah. yeah. I haven't checked, so I don't know for sure. But <laughs> yeah. So I think the shadows on the, his little face is a little dark, so I'm going to go and adjust the center mm -hmm. diamond. He's sort of brighten him up a little bit. Nice. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> you can see more of his frown oh. now. <laughs> his frown is so I'm cute. gonna select nice. these two and just drag it into my libraries again. And call it cover pug. Okay, and I'm gonna do the last one. I'll do the high five. <laughs> that one looks like a scavenger hunt, like fun. Yeah. Oh, Lindsay says they do sell dotted soft cover. Oh, notebooks. soft cover, but not hard cover. Yeah. Oh, Javon is saying to save the gradient, hit new on the gradient panel. Oh, Ooh. here? Over here? I think. Mm. Maybe when you have oh, the uh, thing open. Okay, maybe the gradient maybe. panel over here. Click the new button to save the gradient. Or drag the adjustment layer to each picture. Thanks everyone for your tips. Oh, yeah. I wonder if I can drag it across files. Yeah. Like this. Wait, what? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. Yay. Thank you. Thank you guys. <laughs> wow. Oh. That's so cool. Oh, whoops. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, so I actually want to use the red for this. So mm -hmm. I do actually have to go back in and, but that's really great I to need know. it a little bit faster though. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this one's punchy. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I think that's good. I wonder where the new is. I wonder if I just don't have the gradient panel open. Oh. Maybe not. Also, there's about mm -hmm. 54 minutes left to get your challenges submitted um, so that Jermaine and I can review them. Um, so today's daily creative challenge is to design and prototype a notification screen on a mobile app using XD. So if you're working on that, definitely submit it so we can review it and give you some feedback. Also, you can also submit that on the XD Slack channel if you want feedback from other people. Um, you can also browse what other people have come up with and leave them feedback as well. So yeah, definitely get those submitted. Andy oh. is saying you can save this as an action. Well, there's so many great tips coming from you guys. Thank you. I forgot about actions. <laughs> I don't remember how to do that though. Okay, I think so I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, okay, yes. So you basically, I think you can record, right? Oh, yeah. Is this 
the record button, I think. Yeah. I think I was watching the Photoshop streams from last week. Yeah. And they used the actions, but I don't remember because I was just watching and didn't mm -hmm. like follow along or anything. I think it would be myself, really useful if yeah. you were doing a lot. Yeah, yeah, of exactly. Um, yeah. Edit edits. Yeah, so now that I have these saved in my library, I'm going to jump back into XD and just drop them in. So the nice. command to open up your library is going to be Command Shift L. And yeah, it'll open up your nice. libraries. Just going to wait for them to load. So here they are. OK. So Cody's saying the color scheme is awesome. Thank you. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, so it's very like primary, mm -hmm. but with twists. Primary yeah. colors with a twist. Nice. <laughs> yeah. All right, so as I'm waiting for this last picture to load, which is actually the one I want to put <laughs> right here, <laughs> I'm going to drop in this one. And mm -hmm. all I do is literally just take it from the libraries and drop it into my placeholder mm -hmm. square right here. And it's going to do that. And, OK, so I didn't want it to do that, mm -hmm. but that's because um, I forgot to ungroup it. It's mm. still um, uh, in the repeat yeah. grid group, so I I'm going to I think if you select three undo. of them and drop them in, but I don't know if the order will... Oh, like, for all three? Yeah. Let's try it. Let's try it. Wow. Yay. Yeah. But they weren't in the right yeah. order, is it? Just the last two. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm actually going to... I'm just going to do it individually because mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I know I don't know how to make the order like yeah. different, but it's helpful if you don't have like a specific order mm -hmm. to the images you want to add. You can just highlight all of them and okay. just drop them into your repeat grid. Yeah, so yeah. I'm gonna drop this one here. I want. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. I wanted the bridge <laughs> for the San Francisco one. Oh, oh, that's right. <laughs> um, I'll do the high five for Philly, and then the pug for San Jose. And I'm gonna. Just double click this so that they sort of fit into the frame mm -hmm. better. There we go. Seems very large. Oh, Hel Helvetio? Mm -hmm. Helvetio? He says you can find this action searching something for a Spotify action. So are there pre, cool. I wonder if there's pre-made oh, actions already that yeah. you can look up. That would have made my that's life That's good easier. to know. Thank you. Yeah. Let's, let's bring his little yeah. face up a little bit. <laughs> Here we go. Cute. OK. All right, I'm liking how that's looking so far. So I'm going to go back in and, and just group these for mm -hmm. later. Yeah, so tomorrow, if you join us, I'm going to be prototyping this out so that it swipes. Ooh, cool. Yeah, but I'm going to animate them, I think, mm -hmm. to nice. do That'll some more fun, fun things, yeah. like enlarge and grow <laughs> when, uh, when you swipe through them. Yeah. All right, so for this, this is actually one of my favorite parts. <laughs> <laughs> so with the, the plugins that mm -hmm. um, XD released recently, rather than going in and saving a bunch of UI faces, mm -hmm. I'm just going to select the circles. I actually have the UI plugin, mm -hmm. UI faces yeah. plugin, um, what's it called? Installed. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to click that and then I can choose, I think I'm just going to do the yeah, This is so nice thing. to have because before I would go on like Unsplash and just type mm -hmm. in like girl and guy. And <laughs> just, save them to yeah, your save, finder, right? Yeah. yeah. But now you can just go in and type in any preferences that you have, and it's so much easier. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Carlos is asking, are the photos linked to the library? Um, do you mean my Creative Cloud libraries? I think so. Yeah. So it, those yes. photos I edited in Photoshop, and rather than saving them individually to my files, I just drag them over into mm -hmm. the libraries, which then I can pull up here in XD. Um, so it just saves a lot of time and I guess disk space. Yeah. yeah. So now I'm going to go in and reselect these and add some UI faces to my activity timeline. I'm going to just choose, I think I'm going to choose 
just a few sources. Mm -hmm. So it's pulling from Unsplash, which is where I got the cover photos from, um, and other websites, I guess, like Diverse UI, Musicians. And I'm gonna do happy faces, both male and female. Um, it doesn't really matter to me what hair color. Mm -hmm. And yes, randomize. I'm just gonna hit apply and it should populate all the faces nice. here. Yeah. And then I'm also gonna do the same by using a plugin to populate names for each of the cards. Ooh, nice. So I'm just gonna select for now all of the male faces. And then I'm gonna use the content um, generator plugin. I haven't used that one yet. Yeah, so this one's cool. So there's all these different- Oh, nice. Um, yeah, different ones that you can do, like date, city, country. Um, I use it for names a lot, because mm -hmm. otherwise I would just fall back to Jane Doe or John uh -huh. Doe. So since I selected nice. the male photos, uh -huh. I'm gonna click male, and it'll automatically- Oh my god, that's awesome. Yeah, put in names. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna do the same for women. That saves a lot of time. Oh, for sure. I usually like, I'll think of like shows that I'm watching and then I'll use like the first name of some people <laughs> and like the last name of random people. So people are like, yeah. oh, that's a character from this. But that also takes me some time mm -hmm. to think about, but this is so much easier. Now I'll do like, um, I think last time I did, before they released plugins, mm -hmm. I did um, like 90s cartoon characters. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, Carlos is asking what happens if you double click the photo in the library. Let's try. I'm wondering if it'll, like, if I double click this. Mm -hmm. I think so. Actually, I'm not sure. I actually don't think it does anything. Yeah. Um, so it's not doing anything when I double click, mm -hmm. but I might be able to. No, okay, yeah. Normally, if you double click on it, it'll open it in the original app mm. that it was downloaded in, but it doesn't look like it's happening. But it does tell you if you hover over it where it was edited, so you can always go back nice. to the app yeah. like right here. Yeah. So then I'm just, since this is so specific mm -hmm. to my mock ups, I'm just going to manually mm. change, change these. It, yeah. um, what do I even, oh, so birthday. Josh is saying that he also uses the plugins in XD constantly. And yeah. yeah. So I'm so glad they added them because they help out a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna see what other ones I have installed. Yeah. I haven't really played with Experience Generator. Mm -hmm. um, oh, so the user flow um, app that I was talking about earlier, Overflow, also has a plugin. Oh, that's so, nice. Yeah, so actually let me jump back into yeah into this. So with overflow, instead of linking different rectangles like this, mm -hmm. if you already have your mockups done in XD, you can actually use the plugin to sync your artboards. Oh, so what's cool. gonna do, it's gonna take all of your screens mm -hmm. and then um, rather than just connecting all the squares, it'll mm -hmm. connect your artboards. That's awesome. Yeah. I haven't used it yeah. yet, but um, it's gonna be super That's useful. So cool. That's actually pretty new. Yeah. Um, wait a minute. You know how yesterday oh, we were... Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even notice I had, you had it. <laughs> so yesterday, um, if you tuned in, we were That's trying funny. to figure out how to get a QR code mm -hmm. on the fly, but yeah. it turns out it was think, under my nose yeah. the whole time. But that one was the one where you have to enter the string or something, oh, right? I think it was that one. Yeah, and then uh, we didn't know what QR uh, string yeah, was. I'm not sure how <laughs> yeah. many um, numbers go into mm -hmm. the string. Yeah, I'm not Either sure. Either way, I just generated one online <laughs> yeah. um, this morning so Yay. that I could have it ready yeah. for today. Yeah. So then I had what, Found in Philly and Doggy Dash. So I'm just gonna go in and update these. Oh, Josh is saying you can also use your peak grid to pull in pure data into your designs with a plugin oh. Oh, through Google Sheets. That's good to know. That is good to That's know. That's really helpful That's if too. You, if you have a lot of yeah. um, data, data to fill. Thanks. Hi, Raul. He's joining us from Chile. That's awesome. Uh, is this? Oh, that's weird. See how this it's is bold? bold yeah. yeah. I actually kind of like it bold, mm -hmm. so I'm going to... Nice. I'm gonna <laughs> bold. Cool. I 
think it gives it a little bit more uh, um, like oomph. emphasis. emphasis. Yeah, <laughs> like oh, birthday bark. Yes. Mm. Cool. These are starting to look like eyeballs to me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. So I'm going to move on to the next screen, which is going to be, so this next screen right here is going to be, if you tap on one of your hunts, mm -hmm. it'll open it up into sort of an expanded view so that you can go in and upload your photographic evidence. Yeah. Uh, Munir is asking if you have any tips on how to get UI or UX mentors. Mm -hmm. Um, I personally have never been a mentor mm -hmm. or never had a mentor, mm -hmm. but actually I was watching Heba's um, stream yeah. last week and mm -hmm. she was talking about that. Yeah. Um, I think she mentioned basically just reach out to them. I think the best way is to email them. Yeah, right? yeah. I yeah. think so too. Yeah, she was um, telling me the same thing as to just email them um, or if there's someone that you really admire like a designer mm -hmm. that you look up to, definitely email them, let them know, and make the intro personal yeah. to them, and don't just make it generic, like, I'm looking yeah. for a mentor, but kind of maybe tell them how they've inspired you, and if you email, I think uh, Hiba mentioned to email them twice, and then if they still don't respond, don't worry, they're probably just really busy, and then to mm -hmm. maybe move on to another mentor. Um, and also, a tip I have is if you go to any design meetups, if you have them near you, um, sometimes that can be a good place to find a mentor if you're looking for one. Um, I actually went to a meetup in Seattle and um, there was a lady there and on her name tag, because you usually like sign your name on the name tag, she put um, looking for a mentor underneath. Oh, Yeah, so whenever idea. you like talk to someone, yeah. they can be like, oh, are you looking for a mentor? And maybe there's someone that's looking for a mentee and you guys can like link yeah. up. So I think that could also be another way to do that. I think I, I'm gonna bump these over a little bit. <laughs> They're just like slightly misaligned. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I will, I'll fix them. Yeah. <laughs> but instead of going in and changing all these colors, mm -hmm. I'm actually just gonna reuse what I've already done over here. and paste it over here. Save me some time. Mm -hmm. Oops, didn't mean to grab that. I don't know if anyone else does this too, but I like reuse just like so much of what I've already done. I do too. Yeah. I it like saves a lot of time and if you've already done it on one screen you can just yeah move no, it over and no point in yeah redoing mm -hmm. one day eight players san jose jose is just like this right there's no yeah, different there's accents no, on yeah. it okay cool sweet let's see how do i want to do this Also, <laughs> like I can't remember Same. what settings mm -hmm. I had on it. Yeah. Cool. Oh, Kevin is saying that he loved the illustration on the first Adobe Live show you did. Thank you. Yay. Is that a bug? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, it is a bug right here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I chose this one to do the expanded card on so that I can edit all the dog photos. Mm -hmm. As if you didn't get enough dogs from Ayana's stream before yeah. me. <laughs> he is glorious. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you think I should make this also blue? I think so. Or should I make it? Maybe a, a different color. That seems like a lot. Oh. Maybe I'll have it match. Oh. Hmm. 
kind of like that. Yeah. I'll have it match like the color. The, the background. Of the photo. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think having a different color than like the main blue is mm -hmm. good. It makes it stand out. What am I doing now? Okay, so changing this color. Oh, see, I tried to change the color by using the assets, oh. but it's actually oh, because it's a board or a like border. a line. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go right over yeah. here and do it. Uh, Munir is asking for any tips for someone that's never attended design school and just doing self-education and graphic design and UI UX. Yeah, um, so I actually went to school for strictly graphic design. Mm -hmm. We did so, a lot of focus on like branding and print mm -hmm. and um, like packaging work. Mm -hmm. So I actually didn't jump into UI UX until, until after graduation. Oh. Um, but really, it's just a matter of if you see anything that mm -hmm. you like on your phone or a website that you visit, take note of it. Mm -hmm. um, because chances are, if you like the design, then it's good design. Yeah. You know, um, I know yesterday we mentioned that uh, Skillshare and mm -hmm. Udemy have yeah. classes online if you want to check out something a little bit more structured. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure of any like in person classes yeah. you can take. I don't know either. Yeah. I only know like there's so many like resources online that I like to use. Yeah. Also, there's a lot of good Medium articles about like oh, getting into I UI like UX Medium. design. Yeah. yeah. So definitely like just go to Medium and search UI UX design, like mm -hmm. getting started. And a lot of people share their experiences because there's so many people that are getting into the field and that haven't gone to any design school. So definitely yeah. check that out. I think that's a good resource. and. Also, Adobe live streams are a good resource. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And You're then, doing great now yeah. watching us. <laughs> yeah. And also, just by participating in like daily challenges, I think is a really good way to practice yeah. your UI skills. And also, what I like to do is um, I look at what other people have designed and also like other apps that I really like and enjoy and look at how they're designed and just kind of on my own, just try to imitate like what they're doing just to learn the layout and the, like, the skills. And then from there, I can just make changes mm -hmm. based on what I've done and then kind of like learn how they did it and then kind of put my own twist to it. And then I think that's a good way to like practice. Yeah, for and sure. And then use the skills like maybe spacing or typography um, into your own designs after. Yeah. I think, yeah, doing the creative challenges here mm -hmm. um, is awesome because then you get critique from yeah, you get feedback. both us yeah. and then also like anyone talking in the chats. Yeah, and also on the Slack channel, the mm -hmm. XD Slack channel, um, I've submitted my, because I participated oh, in a yeah. lot of XD daily challenges and I've submitted mine on the Slack channel and I've gotten good feedback and then I've also looked at other people's submissions. So it's really fun and a great way to get involved in the community. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so definitely check that out and also 35 minutes left if you are working on today's XD daily challenge to get that submitted. And the link is on behance.net slash live under the challenge tab. And then we can review that and give you feedback live at the end of our stream. Yes. Oh, and thanks Val for posting the Slack link. Uh, okay, so I think for this, what I'm gonna do is I think it would be cool to have the photograph in the background of the card once it's crossed oh. off. So yeah, I'm gonna yeah. go back in and edit some more dog mm -hmm. photos. I'm gonna jump back into Photoshop because um, I have a bunch more dog photos for everyone. Yay. We've got a corgi. <laughs> so I'm gonna do two more. Yay. So we'll do a corgi. <laughs> it's such a detailed picture. I know. And <laughs> it's this. So cute. Um, a Samoyed or Samoyed? I think it's Samoyed, mm -hmm. but oh, yeah. one of my favorite dogs, my dream dog. Aww. It's like this fluffy cloud. So cute. Yeah, so then <laughs> um, I'm going to duplicate this and we're gonna reuse that shortcut that we learned earlier. Yay. <laughs> Basically just dragging um, the gradient map mm -hmm. filter over to the other ones. Nice. Yeah. Aww. I think I'm gonna adjust this because it's a little bit bright. Mm -hmm. Bring that diamond down. Get some more detail in there. 
Thomas says it's his first day working with XD, so that's awesome. And don't feel pressure. Even if it's your first day, I still recommend submitting them yeah. um, to us to review, or if you don't want to submit them to us to review live, you can always submit it on the um, XD Slack channel, and then other people will just review it and give you feedback on there. Mm -hmm. But I think it's really valuable to get feedback, Definitely. especially as a beginner, then you can really learn and mm -hmm. grow from that as well. And then yeah. Anel, oh, sorry, Anel mentioned the um, XD Daily Challenge, um, Howard's uh, video that he does. So he'll, Howard will do live streams in the morning, um, I think Monday, Friday, I think, the day before the Daily Challenge. And he'll do like a step-by-step -step tutorial of how he gets started and his tutorials are the best. So definitely mm -hmm. check that out. I think they're on YouTube and Behance. So if you don't know where to start with the daily challenges, definitely watch his videos. Yeah. You can get a good idea of how to get started. Right. Yeah. Um, Jivan, Jivan is saying, so when selecting the colors for your gradient, you will see the new button. So oh, oh, okay. Let's wait, try let's that. Try. <laughs> oh, here we go. Let's do... Oh, yay. Yeah. Thank you, Jivan. <laughs> wow, it's right there. Nice. Thanks. Wait, Yay. I'm gonna go in and save the other ones now. Actually, we should. What did you use? Thank you so much. Yeah. Wow. I was actually wondering how to get stuff into this mm -hmm. panel. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. That's so cool. Wait, oh, yeah, I think I already did this one. I want this one. Wow, I love it. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. Yay. Okay, I have those saved. I'm gonna jump back into XD. And then, let's test this out. I don't know how much of the dog mm -hmm. you'll actually be able to see, <laughs> but yeah. So while we're waiting for those to load, I'm gonna go in over here and just edit some more of the assets. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if this is going to be readable if it's white. The text? Yeah. Oh, like over the... Over the image. yellow. Let's do... We can try it. Let's see. Let's see. I think I want this to be white at 50%. And maybe I'll do this. Oops. A blue check. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna drag in this little guy. Oh, so you'll be able to see his face. Yeah. <laughs> the card was bigger. Yeah. Basically the idea <laughs> is when you tap into the card, it'll expand. Brand. Okay, Yeah. nice. To see your picture. This should be readable if it's white. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I think that's good. I don't know if I want to keep this. Maybe if we put a blur on it, it'll be less obnoxious. Mm. Yeah, so we can I'm try that. Grab this and just. So if I put background blur and then adjust mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. so that it's a little bit more readable. Mm -hmm. That should be good. There we go. Oh, is Albert asking? Oh, Albert's asking what time are we prototyping tomorrow? So I'll be back the same time tomorrow. Um, 1 p.m. Pacific time. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we'll be prototyping and animating some of the cards um, mm -hmm. with the swipe feature. Yeah. So definitely come back tomorrow during that time. And then if you are able to make it, it'll be on Behance uh, as a replay or on YouTube. So you can definitely check that out. Um, you don't want to miss the animation part because that's <laughs> really fun. And we're going to do some cool things. So. I'm just going to make this. 
Also about 28 minutes left to get your submissions in for the challenge uh, so that we can review um, what you've come up with for today's XD oh. Daily Challenge. So now I'm gonna just duplicate this. I think I want 16 pixels. Now, I don't think I can just drag the corgi on top. Oh wait. Um, I lost. Because I have the background one, mm -hmm. it might actually overwrite oh. the, so I'm just gonna, let's do this. We'll ungroup this, move the blur down. No. I'm just gonna cut it so mm -hmm. that I can repaste it. Yeah. <laughs> then. Oh, his whole face doesn't yeah. fit. But we'll get his nose in there. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna put that in and then send it backwards until my text. What's the shortcut for sending it to the back? <laughs> so uh, this is one of my most used shortcuts <laughs> probably. It's gonna be on your MacBook, Command, Shift, and then the left bracket. Is that? Okay, the like square one? It's like the square bracket, yeah. yeah. So Command, Shift, left bracket. Yep. And then if you do Command, nice. Shift, right bracket, mm -hmm. it's gonna send it to, to the, the front. front. Okay. Um, nice. But if you want to go one layer at a time, mm -hmm. just do Command bracket. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, rather than like pushing it all, all the way, way to the front. Okay. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Oh, Josh just uh, oh, entered that. Perfect. Thank you, Josh. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think that's the square bracket, yeah. right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Zabdiel is asking if there's ways to export for development. Um, I think there's yes. a design specs. Yeah, so if you, picture. once you're done with all your designs, if you hit share um, and you do share for development, it basically creates a link that you can send to your developers and it'll show you all the different um, specs based on your designs. Nice. Yeah. I think I'm going to make this. Have a set feel empty. Does that make sense? Which one? I'm wondering if I should make it blue instead. Oh, for the ones that haven't been completed yet? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, Josh mentioned a plugin um, called AvoCode for oh. sending to devs. I've heard I've, of it, but I I've haven't, never heard of it. I haven't used it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for sharing that, Josh. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do some other dogs up mm -hmm. in here, but I'm gonna repeat the grid for this one first. Nice. There we go. It's like so much white, mm -hmm. I'm having trouble seeing. Mm -hmm. And then I think, how many tasks did we say? 10? One, two, three, four. Well, that's a lot. Is that 10? Am I counting right? <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, but I already have two. Yeah. So I actually only need eight. eight yeah. And then if I change something while it's still grouped in a grid, it'll change all the text, right? Uh, I think you can change the text individually, but if you, I think if you move it, like oh, any, they'll all it'll all move? change. Okay. Yeah. Well, I actually already ungrouped them, so I'm just gonna. Yeah. <laughs> that'll pick. But I think if like the text is the same size, it, it'll yeah. be fine. But if you're like writing something longer, oh, it'll okay. like shift, I think. Okay. So I, I usually just ungroup it I after I, just... I do the repeat grid and then fill in all yeah. like the content okay, after. Okay, that makes sense. I'm just, that's what I normally do is mm -hmm. I'll 
repeat and unwrap. Yeah. Because I'm always like afraid of messing things up. Okay, I'm looking over to my mm, list of yeah. dog dogs. <laughs> nice. Okay, so we got Poodle. Um, what else do we have? We got a Labrador. Oh, oh spell there's check. a smell check <laughs> yeah, again. Nice. <laughs> Sue Bichon. I have a little Bichon. Oh, yeah. Home. You were showing me pictures of him. He's so cute. <laughs> um, let's do Pitbull. I don't think I wrote enough down. I need, two, I need three um, more. Shiba Inu. Oh, yes. Is Those are my. Sh few. Is it E or A? I think a? it's A. And then I and you. Those are the cutest dogs. <laughs> um, Beagle? <laughs> I don't know. No, I need a big Maybe dog. somewhat, if you have a dog, let us know the breed. Oh, yeah. Or, let us know yeah. your dog. A dog yeah, breed. A dog really breed. Like. <laughs> I'm sure there's a ton more yeah. I'm thinking of. So I'm going to jump into the next screen over here, which is gonna be when you tap a picture, mm. um, sorry, tap a card uh, task that isn't complete yet, it's gonna oh, automatically okay. open the camera oh, nice. to allow you to either upload a picture or snap a pic. So that, um, this screen is actually also gonna open up when you tap the camera button on the home screen, mm. it's sort of like easy access. Oh, here we go, be, let's go yeah. with Dalmatian, yeah. that's a fun one. Australian Shepherd, Pomskis. <laughs> oh, Pomskis are yeah. so cute. Is it A.N. Dalmatian? Dalmatian. Dalmatian. Yeah. <laughs> Is it Owen? I think Owen. Well, I'm not going to Pog, German it. Shepherd, Westie. Oh. I don't know how to pronounce. Oh, Collie. Da Dachshund? Dax. Da <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. I normally Call just read it yeah, and never too. actually say that. Same. Yeah. Kali Shih, Shih Tzu. Okay, so for this one, it's going to be an unedited photo. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to go in and grab, let's grab the golden mm -hmm. and just drop him. Actually, I don't know if that's going to work because it's locked. Oh. Got to unlock it first. Huskies are the best. Yay, Huskies. That was the mascot for my um, the university I went to, University of Washington. Oh, Go really? Huskies, yeah. <laughs> and then we had, there was an actual Husky that would come and you could like take pictures with mm -hmm. it and it was so cute. Oh. <laughs> yeah. mm, okay. Oh, I meant to do this over here. So I'm gonna bring in some of the, the rounded elements mm -hmm. into this piece here. Just round the corners. There we go. Gonna bring a shadow up onto it also. So I'm gonna need to do negative, right? Negative. Oh, Maria yeah. says dachshund is how you pronounce. That. Is that that's right? Oh, okay, because I think their nicknames yeah. also like Doxy. Oh, Doxy. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Maria. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Okay. Mm, okay, so I think I'm just gonna fake some grid lines here, like for the camera. And you can't since you can't see this X on most mm -hmm. of the pictures, I think what I'm gonna do is create a blur, a gradient. Mm. Bring it down. We'll do a linear gradient. And we're gonna flip flop this. And make this color. And then make the white completely transparent. Nice. Yeah, so this is 
a trick that I like to use, rather than just mm -hmm. blocking out yeah. the entire color. I like that trick. Yeah, except I think it's gonna be a little too dark. I don't know mm. if this is gonna work the way I want it to. Because uh, it's pretty harsh. Mm. Yeah, this actually might, <laughs> might not work the way I want. Maybe you yeah. can like bring up the blue on the top, like the the pointer, like that one end of the line is the the blue part. <laughs> oh, the this. This, yeah, and like, or bring it like yeah. up, maybe or no. That's like pretty harsh. <laughs> it works yeah, best that's... on like card images. Okay. So what I might do. Oh, Raza is saying use the flip button to flip instantly, for like gradients. Oh. Can you do that? Oh. Nice. Thank you. Yeah. And I don't know if that's what I wanted, though. That looks kind of mm -hmm. looks kind of weird. Yeah. I honestly might just bring it down. Mm -hmm. So I'll make this blue turn off the border. And then we'll make this little up here too. Um, so Ashi is asking if you can have repeat grid on multiple artboards. What do you um, mean by yeah. that? Do you like, mean like repeat the artboards in a grid? Or you, um, the feature only works on um, like elements on, on the artboard, like images, yeah. text, anything that you create on the artboard you can repeat, but for the artboard itself, I don't mm. think you can repeat Now, it. like like selecting an artboard, mm -hmm. yeah. So it only yeah. works on actual shapes and elements mm -hmm. on your artboard, but you can't repeat the grid itself. Mm -hmm. But um, you can copy and paste a repeated set of elements mm -hmm. from one artboard to another. Yeah. Or you can duplicate the artboard also mm -hmm. and then kind of like work from there. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of this super dark color. Oh. So I'm gonna just make them white. You can never go wrong with white. Mm -hmm. okay. So I'm gonna make this the red. Turn that off. <laughs> yeah, I did it again. I only want the border to mm -hmm. be this color. Let's bump it up to five. There we go. That looks really cool. <laughs> um, yeah. I actually don't remember what a camera looks like. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Normally it would have the, the grid lines, but. Yeah, like the, the nine mm -hmm. screens. We're gonna jump into the next screen now. So this next screen is gonna be similar to this screen. Mm -hmm. It'll still be the scavenger hunt card when it's expanded, but when you tab over to uh, the players. players tab, nice. that's what it's gonna look like. So I'm actually going to, well, actually need this over here. Let's make this white. So we have about 15 minutes left until the challenge deadline. So if you're working on your XC Daily Creative Challenge, make sure to submit that on Behance so that we can review them yes. at the end of our stream. I'm gonna copy and paste these pieces here, over here. so that I don't have to redo that. So I'm just gonna delete that and paste this in and then mm -hmm. use that command um, to send it to the back. Yeah. Cool. And then I'm gonna shift the active state over to players. Mm -hmm. And if you hold down the shift button, it'll s maintain yes. the line, mm -hmm. so. So basically, so if I'm not move, holding like, it down, I mm -hmm. can move it anywhere. Yeah. But if I'm holding shift and dragging, it'll mm -hmm. keep it yeah, in position, but moving mm -hmm. it horizontally. Yeah. Okay, 
like I'm constantly using shift. I feel like we yeah. should have on screen <laughs> my keyboard. I know. I think so there's that people some know. way to like show that, but I don't know. Does yeah. anyone know how to show your keystrokes? Because I think I've seen it before on uh, some like YouTube videos, mm -hmm. and they'll show like yeah the images of the keyboard. Oh, Zabdiel's asking where can we get the challenge. Um, so if you go to, if you're on behance.net slash live, um, there's a challenge tab and it'll show the instructions for today's challenge. And then there's also a link, maybe Val can send the, um, the link for the XD landing page and that shows all of the daily challenges. So you can get information for each day and then you can view the video tutorials yeah. that Howard posted for each day as well. So. So I'm gonna go back in here and use that UI face plugin again mm -hmm. to get some people's faces in nice. my screen. Okay. I'm just gonna keep the same settings that I had earlier mm -hmm. and hit apply. And then select all the female faces and change the names using the content generator plugin and then do the same for the male faces. Um, oh wait, this is faces. I meant to do <laughs> it. <laughs> um, okay. Cool, and then, so these back here are sort of just like more, um, to be a little bit more visual, but basically like a little bit of data viz in the leaderboard so that you can get a better idea of who's taking lead. Um, trying to figure out how I want to do this. Do you think it'll be a little bit too much yellow if I do yellow? Um, but then I think it might be... What if you did like a light opacity yellow or something? Like I don't that. know how that would look. Well, you know, we should try. I'm going to try to make a gradient. Ooh. But let me try this first. Ooh, I do like that though. That is nice. Okay, which is 20. But I'm gonna try, I'll try the gradient. Mm -hmm. Let's see. We'll go, let's go this way. Well, no, let's go this way. Uh, but then it might be a little hard to read. Let's try it. I'm gonna do this color. So Ashi's asking about the content generator plugin mm -hmm. that you used. Yeah, um, I don't know if I'm a fan of this. <laughs> I'm gonna undo and keep mm -hmm. it yellow. But um, yeah, so the content generator plugin is basically um, allows you to select um, text fields. And then if you hit content generator, um, you can replace all of your placeholder text with um, whatever you want, pretty much. Um, so I use the name section to populate um, randomized names, both um, male and female names. But um, say you were doing something that showed, like if you were mocking up um, an email inbox, mm -hmm. You know, you can just select all of the email addresses and instead of manually coming up with fake email Emails, addresses, yeah. this will do it for you. Yeah. yeah. So it's a really awesome tool to have if you don't want to think about inputting all these different mm -hmm. text fields or anything, you can just use that yeah. plugin. So. Yeah. I'm wondering if I want to, maybe I'll do it like this. Oh well, yeah. Oops, round them out. <laughs> I like that look. Yeah, I think it, it'll tie in more of the, the roundedness. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna bring it over just a little bit. There we go. Cool. And then for this, since I already pretty much mopped it up mm -hmm. over here, I'm just gonna copy and paste nice. the same <laughs> one. I'm just gonna grab this. And we're gonna drop it in. Oh. Drop it in. 
we go. Cool. And then this line, I'm just going to copy from up here. Bring it down. Sweet. So then this page is ready to be prototyped pretty much yeah. for tomorrow. I'm going to move on to the bottom screens. So a lot of these screens actually have elements that I'm going to be reusing. Mm -hmm. For example, up here, I'm going to grab the same top half right here is pretty much what we have in this screen here. So I'm going to copy it. And then this screen here is what happens when you start typing into the mm -hmm. search bar. Um, it'll drop down all of the different active hunts that you have and replace it with the search features. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to delete this, paste this in, and send it to the back. Oops. And then... Oh, I like the icon for a scan QR code. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I tried using just the actual QR code mm -hmm. itself as the button, but um, scaling down the QR oh, to just small yeah. size, it was not pretty. Yeah. So. No, I think that's a good... It's a good icon to have. Yeah. Like yeah. um, and then this card here, I've got some elements already made. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to just oops, grab this here and add it to this element here. I'm going to lock this so I'm not. Mm -hmm. Um, Moving pushing it, it around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Update the corners. Add the drop shadow. Get those for 16. I'm going to delete this because we're just going to use the repeat grid function again to redo it. And then this here. Oops. I'm going to paste it up here actually. So this was some of the elements I already mm -hmm. updated earlier, and I'm just going to drag it over here and just place it. And then these ones I'm going to delete. What's the keyboard shortcut to lock? Oh, the <laughs> keyboard shortcut to lock is Command L. Okay. Um, yeah, it's another one nice. of the quick shortcuts. <laughs> I just that saw I you use. did it really fast. <laughs> yeah, because um, when you have so much stuff on top of mm -hmm. each other, uh, it's hard to pinpoint exactly mm -hmm. what you're moving around. Yeah. So I do true. Command L. I think Command L also unlocks it. Okay. So it's just like nice. Lock unlock. <laughs> I actually love the lock feature on mm -hmm. XC because I would use the lock feature on Illustrator oh, a lot. Okay. And that one is like command two, I think. Oh. But then <laughs> it wasn't as easy to unlock mm -hmm. as it oh, is. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. I feel like L is pretty straightforward. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we have about four minutes left um, to get your challenges submitted. So if you're working on them, um, start wrapping it up and mm -hmm. saving it and then submit it on behance.net slash live under the challenge tab so that we can review it and give you feedback. Yeah. <laughs> Eric says I'm making UI UX look easy. Aww. It is Yay. easy. <laughs> With XD. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then the nearby hut, we're just going to say Food frenzy. So this is if you're searching for a hunt but haven't really typed anything mm -hmm. in yet. Um, it's just going to be showing you basically based on your location mm -hmm. what's nearby. What happened to my? I think I 
I accidentally deleted it. Oh no. Yeah, I'm just gonna <laughs> bring it back over here. Oh, Eric says Command Shift 2 to unlock an illustrator. Oh, so. okay. I would Thanks, always. Eric. Thank you. Yeah. I would always go into the layers panel oh, okay. and then manually click. Oh, I see. <laughs> Thanks. Mm -hmm. um, oh yeah. Also, if you forget to unlock it, you can also mm -hmm. easily just click the little lock oh, icon yeah. here, and it'll yeah. unlock your piece. Okay. So I'm gonna repeat because I want two of those. Think of another name for this. Can you think of another alliteration? Hunt? Coffee. <laughs> Coffee curl. curl. I think already bar crawl. Coffee craze. craze. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> That's a fun one. What's going on with this? Okay. I'm just gonna do this. Another way to quickly copy or duplicate um, pieces is, so you can either do Command V, Command C, Command mm -hmm. V to mm -hmm. copy or paste. Um, you can also do Command D mm -hmm. and it'll duplicate whatever it's selected. Yeah. But um, one of the fastest ways that I found to duplicate um, pieces is selecting it and holding sh uh, the option key mm -hmm. on your keyboard and then just dragging it. Nice. I think it's, fa it's faster for me yeah. to um, just automatically place it mm -hmm. where I want it to go. Yeah. But here I'm actually cool. going to use this mm -hmm. again. Oops. So Bren Brahim is asking, how do you determine if your app should have round shapes or sharp shapes? And is the logo app relevant? Yeah, I mean, it's really up to your preference or I guess your client's preference mm -hmm. if you're working with a client. Um, I personally just, I find myself always falling back to um, the round shapes mm -hmm. in my designs um, just because it feels less less harsh mm -hmm. to me. Yeah. Um, yeah, less harsh, but you can definitely like take into account the brand, for example, mm -hmm. like the logo that you said. Yeah. Um, to pull in like different pieces of your um, elements. Yeah. Oh, Eric says it's actually command option too. <laughs> oh, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. 45 seconds oh left to get your challenges submitted. <laughs> yeah, and for down here, I'm just gonna copy the other nav bar that we already made. Right. And same for over here. Ten seconds almost. <laughs> okay, let's do So this is basically what happens when you search for a keyword. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to show you results for. Cool. We are out of time. Oh yeah. For the submissions. Yay. Okay. So let me. So if we can switch over to my screen, we could look yep. at the submissions. So we just have one for our segment. So thank you to Thomas for submitting your challenge. I'm excited to see it. So let's see. So the challenge was to create a notification screen on a mobile app. Mm -hmm. So let's see, 31 new messages and 42 unread emails. Ooh, 
nice. I like the transition. Was that triggered by you swiping up from the bottom? I think I just clicked. I don't know. Earlier I tried to drag and then someone said that you can't drag on the oh. like web browser. Yeah. So I just kind of clicked and clicked held in. it. But yeah. I think I, I understand like the mm -hmm. motion that yeah. he was trying to make. So cool. sent you 40 pictures, <laughs> Gmail, and then Ooh, Ooh, nice. Was that an cool. animation? Yeah, yeah, I think it was an animation. Cool. This is awesome. I like how you started out. Let's go back to the start yeah, screen. Yeah, I want to see the beginning um, yeah. animation. So, this is the starting page, and then, let's see. Oh, so if you like try to tap the screen, yeah. it'll show you that. That's nice. I like how you, it's like kind of like an accordion, and it like mm -hmm. opens up into all of the messages. Mm -hmm. And you have a preview, and then you did a good job doing like the time when it was received two minutes ago. Mm -hmm. It is a little bit hard to read, but I think maybe you can add a higher contrast for messages, and then like two minutes ago, maybe it could be a little bit darker. Yeah. Just to be able to read it a little bit better. Um, but yeah, awesome job. I think like the notification animation was yeah, really, really good. good. Yeah. I like the um, that subtle like swipe to unlock mm -hmm. popping up when yeah. you try to tap the screen. Yeah, so yeah. awesome job. Good job. Yay. Alexandra's mm -hmm. asking where did they get the Apple font and the Apple images? So mm -hmm. I'm not sure if um, this is how they got those, but mm -hmm. in XD, if you click, oh wait, my screen's not up. Oh. <laughs> Maybe we can yeah. click over. Thank you, Thomas, for submitting. Yeah, thank you awesome so much. Good job. job. Um, if you go to File, Get UI Kits in XD, there's um, the option to choose Apple iOS. And mm -hmm. what it's going to do is it's going to bring up your browser to Apple Design Resources here. Mm -hmm. And there's a link to download the XD file um, for the iOS UI kit. And I actually was using it yesterday. So this is the kit that you're going to get from that download. So it's got all of the fonts, and then all the different UI pieces. I believe they're all symbols, so you don't have to worry about um, like messing up any mm -hmm. of the, yeah. the assets. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I use a lot of these um, pieces mm -hmm. here that I'm designing, so, and keyboard. Nice, yeah, useful. the keyboard. <laughs> Now we're back, back to search results. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Now oh, I realized these all need to go up. Eight pixels. And then I'm curious for these if I can use a content generator. For like the, for the, the cities names. or the names. Oh, but I'll, I'll also yeah. do the cities. Yeah, Let's try that. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna, since these are grouped, I'm gonna ungroup them mm -hmm. so I can select, select all of them. Let's change the cities first. I don't know if they'll include the town yeah. or the, the state. state, but let's try. Let's try it. <laughs> So city. Oh. oh. Well, oh. we're gonna leave it like yeah. this because I like the diversity. Me too. In the cities. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, and then I'm gonna try to see if any of those content options work for the titles of the scavenger hunts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's try that. Yeah. I never use experience yeah. generator. I'm really curious. I'm gonna try that. that. Yeah. After I do this. <laughs> um, title. Maybe title will let's, work. Yeah. Let's try title. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, it's lorem ipsum. Yeah. And I'm not a fan of really using that in my mm -hmm. mockups, only because it, um, it, it gives you less of an idea, like context-wise, yeah, exactly. what the app is about. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Coffee craze. I'm just gonna reuse some of the ones that 
we've already yeah. done. So I'm not spending, wasting time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, also I like having some sort of like context, like you said, on what mm -hmm. is supposed to go there, even if you don't have the name already yeah. like thought of, you can just say like name of event or name of like mm -hmm. scavenger hunt. Because if you have a lot of screens and then you use like lorem ipsum and you go back, you might not remember mm -hmm. what you were supposed to put there or like maybe forget. So it's always nice to stay organized. Yeah. Um, and then for the, the other details here, I'm just gonna leave Oh, neon signs. <laughs> yeah. That's I'm going to leave um, the, just the other the details permission. for the sake of time. Yeah. yeah. So move on to the next screen. So this is another version of the camera. Mm. Um, rather than it pulling up your actual camera, it'll be like a QR code like a scanner um, camera thing? scanner. Cool. Yeah. But what I'm going to do is I'm just, I'm actually going to copy this because I want to use some of the elements. Right here. Unlock the dog. Um, Josh is asking what's the hex code of the blue and yellow that you're oh. using. Yes. If you don't mind reading that. So it's actually, I'll expand this. So the blue, this background blue here is this hex code. Can you guys see that? It's, you, can kind of see you know, it. I'm gonna copy and paste it so you guys can, <laughs> you guys can see yeah. it. Yeah. So that's the blue. And then this is the yellow. Yeah, yeah. There you go. You're welcome. <laughs> so I'm gonna bring this over and then bump up my border radius again. Oops, I don't think I did that right. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, Val just um, said uh, it in the chat. Thanks, Thank you, Val. <laughs> Actually generated a QR code this morning to have here, so it'll just drop right in here. I'm wondering if yes, yeah. So then this screen here is the ability for you to select an image. Like if you already mm -hmm. had, um, if you already took a photo of the task earlier on, or if you um, had a QR code that someone already shared with you, that's saved in your camera roll, you can just click the image icon here and it'll mm -hmm. pull up your camera roll nice. to select an image. So for this, I'm going to use the image generator again. Ooh, nice. Let's see if it works. Photo Splash. So I have another plugin called mm -hmm. Photo Splash that should populate images into these squares. So this is a grouped grid. I'm gonna try to see if it'll automatically populate into all the squares. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it does oh, not work. So for I think you might grid. need to ungroup. Let me ungroup and select it all. Oh, cool. Now oh, it's loading. Yay. So this, these are all random photos. I'm curious if you can select, oh, search by keyword. I think I'm just gonna keep the random selection for now and apply. Mm -hmm. um, but if you were to do this, you can search for whatever um, photo yeah. you're looking for to populate. So I'm just gonna hit apply and it should just pop those right in. Ooh, nice. Yeah, so this yeah. were like, if it was your camera roll, mm -hmm. you can just upload yeah. an image. That's awesome. Um, so Raz is asking if there was just one entry for the daily challenge, and if you wanted us to review it, um, there was like a time limit for that, but if you're still working on it, you can definitely still submit it on the XD Slack channel. Yeah. If you want to ask for feedback, 
um, definitely do that. Or if you don't finish it today, you can still upload it to Behance um, and just have it on your portfolio. And mm -hmm. what I like to do is have like each challenge as like one project and then just do each day. So if you want to start from the beginning or like in the middle, you can just yeah. add all the challenges and yeah. So there's no time limit really, so. We are almost done, actually. Oh, yeah, we are. We have two more screens left. Yeah. Yay. So then this last screen is the ability to create a new scavenger hunt. Um, this screen will show up when you click this plus button mm -hmm. right here next to the search bar. And then I'm just actually going to copy the placement of these two right in here. And grab that icon and drop it in here. Just a little large, okay. Cool. So when you place the icon, do you kind of place it over the wireframe that you had and then delete? Yeah, the other so thing? I probably should have explained that. Yeah. Um, so when I replace images, actually, I, I'll do it right here. Mm -hmm. So what I'll do is um, if I'm grabbing a clock. Let's grab the clock icon. Mm -hmm. What I'll do is take the object I want to place and put it over top whatever I'm trying to replace. Mm -hmm. And then I'll hit the command um, to cut. So I'll do command X. So what that does is when you cut something, it basically copies it to your clipboard, but deletes it from oh, your cool. screen. And then I'll delete whatever placeholder icon mm -hmm. that I have. Um, and then just hit command V, which is to paste it. Nice. And yeah, it'll paste that's it right in place. So it's awesome. rather than moving stuff around, mm -hmm. I'll cut and paste. Yeah, yeah, that's a really good tip. I never knew you could do that. So yeah, yeah thank you for sharing that with us. I think this is this icon just a little too small. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to increase the size a little bit. Cool. That's a good question though. I didn't, yeah. I, it's so part, it's mm -hmm. like just integrated yeah. so well into my work. I noticed you're doing it and I, I wanted it. to ask. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> So I'm actually just going to do it again over here, yeah. place it where I want, cut it, delete the old one, mm -hmm. and then repaste. Yes. Oops. Why? Did you see that disappear? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see what's going on here. That's so weird. I'm just... That's what I wanted to do, is just <laughs> increase the size a little bit. Yeah, so when I mm -hmm. when I go to increase icons like this, mm -hmm. um, I'll use the drag handles, mm -hmm. but I'll also hit option shift mm -hmm. on the keyboard and drag so that it adjusts the size based on the center oh, of nice. the icons. So if I just hit the drag handles, it'll just yeah, lose like the lose shape. the shape. Mm -hmm. But if you just hit shift, it'll scale from one corner. Uh -huh. But if you hit option shift, it'll scale from the center. Nice. Yeah, so that's a another. Yeah, that's um, another like insider tip on insider tips <laughs> yeah. that I I'm Yay. constantly using. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So these icons I actually made in Illustrator um, beforehand, mm -hmm. so that I can just drop them into nice. my um, my library. So they're all here. That's I prefer, so cool. yeah, drawing mm -hmm. my icons in Illustrator. Um, just nice. so I, I think it's way more precise than doing it in XD. I like doing it in XD because I never, I like I know a little bit about Illustrator, but not too much. Mm -hmm. But I'm since I'm in XD so much, I just got used yeah. to like designing icons in XD. So I, I really like that mm -hmm. XD allows you to yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah, to do that, it's really fun. For simpler shapes, it's mm -hmm. like, like shapes like this, like it's that, super yeah. easy. But um, my issue was <laughs> when I tried to edit them, mm -hmm. 
it was harder for me to go from XD to Illustrator than oh, okay. Illustrator to XD. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Ooh, Albert is joining us from Nigeria. Hello, Hello. Albert. Again. Yeah. I also love the the guidelines. Mm, yeah. So I'll just like nudge it until I can see the center. Yeah. I know I love align. that. XD provides that. I'll just bring this. This one looks like it's pretty good already. Yeah. Oops. Oh, I should just yeah. let it, I should <laughs> let have it. just let it autocrat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Changing these to the blue, and then these to blue, but 20%. Cage is joining us from New Zealand. Hi, Cage. Thanks for joining us. New Zealand? Yeah. What time is it? I in know, New what Zealand? time is it? In what New time Zealand? is it in New Zealand? <laughs> yeah. And Nigeria. I feel like it's. Is it the next day? Is it? I don't know. <laughs> and then down here, I'm just going to bring in the handles to make it super rounded. Mm -hmm. And then change this. I feel like it's way too much blue. Maybe I'll make it. Let's play around with some mm -hmm. color. I think the green might be a little too unreadable. Mm. Yeah. Let's go with the yellow. Yeah. I'm gonna bump up the. New Zealand is almost noon. Oh, I guess oh New Zealand. Day. Oh, okay. Oh. oh, New Zealand, it's almost noon, but in the next day. Yeah, it's nice. It's noon no tomorrow. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, in Norway, it's 11.47 p.m. And then 11. They are coming to us from the future. Yeah. <laughs> That's wow. amazing. That's so fun. Yeah. Um, okay. And then this last one. So this screen is when you hit save and all of your um, information is populated, um, it'll automatically generate a QR code for you. Um, right here. Mm -hmm. So that's the screen I'm going to do. So this is actually going to be a pop-up modal mm -hmm. um, that's going to go over the home page. So what I'm going to do is just copy the artboard for this. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to select the artboard, hold the option key, mm -hmm. um, and then just drag it over to duplicate. Nice. And then, um, so this background right here, I call it the scrim. Um, the I guess like the opacity, the black mm -hmm. opaque background. Um, I'm gonna add the scrim on top of the home screen. So what I'll do is so that nothing budges, I will actually just select the whole artboard, all the elements in the artboard, mm -hmm. group them using Command G and then locking them Ooh. using Command L so that I'm not like messing anything up. And then I'm just gonna copy this black scrim and then paste it right back onto my home page. Oh, nice. Yeah. So I'm just gonna copy this element here. Reuse my little X icon. Paste it here. Let's pull up the grid. around those corners. So Cage has never used XD. What advantages do you think XD has over other Adobe products using it for um, workflow? And stuff? Yeah, so honestly, I recently I've been using XD for not just mock-ups, mm -hmm. but <coughs> um, pretty much for any screen designs mm -hmm. that I need to do. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, no, it's okay. It's yeah. a little itchy. Huh? I like to use XD also um, just for creating 
like um, any <coughs> images if you want, like or like a presentation. You yeah. can do like anything pretty much, and I just find <coughs> it a lot easier to place things and mm -hmm. instead of having to go to each Adobe product like Photoshop, Illustrator, or InDesign, if you want just like a basic like, I don't know, mock-up of something, I feel like it's really easy to just do all in XD. And if you want to be more yeah. specific and go into Photoshop and edit a photo or do something else on mm -hmm. Illustrator, you can always bring that into XD. So it's kind of good for like all around. Yeah, anything, yeah all around so. is pretty good. Like yeah. the most recent project I use XD for other mm -hmm. than mock-ups is to create um, PowerPoint slides. Nice. So yeah. I feel super limited mm -hmm. making designs in PowerPoint yeah. or Google. Um, Slides. Google Slides. Yeah. So what I what I'll do is I'll just make a big artboard, mm -hmm. design my slide there, export it out as a PNG, nice. and then paste it yeah, into Google Slides. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, XC is also just like super fast for mocking, um, mocking up your designs, like screen yeah. designs. Um, I don't know. I just yeah. it's way faster and less of a learning curve. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Extra bold mm -hmm. to make it more readable. Nice. Cool. Is that centered? I guess it is. Maybe this is the <laughs> something is off. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's this. <laughs> something feels off. But I can't. Oh, oh. it's the back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to actually delete that. Okay. Cool. So we are actually about to wrap up our stream today. That was today. great time. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want to kind of give us an overview yeah. of the screens that you created. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Um, I took the wireframes that I made yesterday, the basically grayscale wireframes, mm -hmm. and then added the the branding that mm -hmm. I had come up with based mm -hmm. on the logo, uh, the name that we all helped to come up with yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, so I applied those colors um, onto the wireframes to give it some life. Um, we added some drop shadows and um, Photoshop some pictures. We learned some new things, um, yeah. <laughs> how to apply gradients mm -hmm. and actions yeah. and create new filters, um, saved those edited images into my library so mm -hmm. that I can use them in XD. Um, yeah, so we were able to complete pretty much all the screens that I originally had in my user flow. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so it's basically tomorrow we're just gonna take these screens and map them out using the prototype feature nice. um, to add some animations in there and also um, do some cool swiping gestures mm -hmm. uh, so that tomorrow we'll be able to search for a new hunt, open up a active hunt, mm -hmm. and then upload a photo. Um, yeah, so you can check out your leaderboards. Basically, the happy path that I had mapped out. Thank yeah, yeah, I'm excited for tomorrow. Definitely join us back again here tomorrow at the same time, 1 p.m. Pacific, to watch us prototype or watch your main prototype. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, definitely join us again. Thank you, everyone in the chat, for being here with us today. We appreciate you. Thank you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Thanks, Bye. guys. See you tomorrow. Thank you.